Hello everybody, welcome back. Today on Couples Gaming, today we're trying out Sierra something, I don't remember the name, it's gonna be probably in the description. It's pretty much a survival game that is not so popular, but <clears throat> we shall decide if it's a good game or a shit game. So I played a little before for like, I guess 20 hours or something like that. Whatever, so it's pretty much uh, H1Z1 combined with infestation and... Uh, a base building game? I don't know. And actually Rust as well. So right there as you can see they also have base building with turrets and things like that. And right there. You can also have the crafting right here. It goes, you already know, the base things, weapons, uh, key cards, blah 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 blah, ammunition, weapons you need to find them. They also have cards, so right now this is a big city. So, let's go right there and see what's up. So, it doesn't look shit either way. It looks quite well, actually. The only problem is it's very poorly optimized, sadly. So, even if you have, a let's say, a beefy-ass computer, it's still gonna run a little with frame rates dropping and things like that. As you can see on the right side corner right there are the FPS. It's dipping below 30, sometimes it goes over 30, it depends, it depends very much on the game. At the moment I'm not playing it on maximum, I'm playing it on a medium, because on maximum, this action, actually, no, never mind that, I'm playing this on high. Right, never mind, let me actually double check that shit. Uh, la, 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 la. Right, overall quality, it's a medium, just purely because on the high one, it's even worse than on the medium. As you, can, you saw earlier, I had a little bit of a frame drop. And on high, the game is very much struggling to function. Extremely functional. So you can actually walk from here all the way to there for like uh, 20 to 30 minutes in game. The only difference that this game has compared to other games that have uh, zombies is this game actually have robots. So that is quite interesting if you actually think about it. So let's try to find something decent around here, maybe a weapon, a weapon. Okay, the duffel bag is five dollars. Of course they have uh, the market as well by player, so we got a crowbar, perfect. It's gonna automatically place itself, we also have like the third person, if you really are into the third person one. I guess it's better when shooting, I prefer the first person uh, look to be honest. So just gonna go and melt rotate that fucking robot right there because this is the hospital so we'll not... I don't think we're gonna be able to find any goddamn fucking weapons. Okay, so the main city is around here. This is like a uh, zone not fucking ever. Okay, he's right there. Okay. Hey, fuck yourself. Yee, yeah, boy. Stupid ass fucking shit. Trying to attack me. And there's another one right there. Oh yeah, and these motherfuckers have uh, superpowers. So if you're actually shooting the like multiple levels of them, like this is the easiest one. And there's this one that uh, is gonna take a whole RPG to take down. <clears throat> that they actually can jump after you and things like that and it's not 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 funny or pleasurable or or even interesting to be honest not even interesting it's just creepy as fuck especially during the night where you cannot see shit in this game because you know atmospheric reasons my ass As you can see we can enter every house we have every apartment building we also have baseball bats and i'm trying just to find some uh, got them a weapon. I don't seem to be able to find a weapon in the house. Yeah, no, fuck this shit, let's go. I'm the main one. Either way, you can enter every single house you have and every single apartment building like that one. In They all have millions of fucking rooms and shit and I'm not in the mood to search all of them. So, they have a lot of Europe, America and shit like that servers. So, if you'd like to give it a try, go ahead not a bad game okay let's go and try to find ourselves a weapon and maybe try to murder some people as well that will be actually quite nice oh the police station is right here 
and sometimes you can actually search trunks of cars. This time, for example, you didn't find shit in the police thingy, so that's sad. So, no glass shutter right there, as you can see. Okay, let's go inside the police station. Open up, that's the interrogation room, this way, and should be armory right here. Let's just hope we can find some goddamn weapons. Okay, we found the Naminter. As you can see, it can, you can also find the uh, scopes and um, silencers. Will be pretty nice, actually. Okay, auto turret leg. I don't necessarily need that. I appreciate it, though. And I don't think I actually have the... No, 45 CP. Yeah, that's perfect. It goes with this one, so that's good. Okay, that's the police station. I think we should be able to find some ammo stashes here as well. Let's see. Okay, perfect. You can also destroy bases if you really want to be that kind of dude and just go and hammer the shit out of them and loot people, but it's gonna take a fucking while if you don't have the firepower and if you just wanna, you know, hit it with one of these. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna quickly reload. And then we're just gonna continue like up into the main city. Generally there's a lot of people in the main cities and they try to PvP. And of course don't trust anybody in this game that comes. If we have a... oh, okay, perfect. Ha! <laughs> I never saw that uh, the actually crowbar is on the back. I guess that's nice. You can also have backpacks and everything you ever wanted. There are also cars and vehicles in this game but there's just a couple of them and... Um, Generally a lot of players just use them to murder other players or just generally hog them as long as possible because if you are uh, if you take the car, let's say you got a little base and you put it somewhere like whatever you can literally build anywhere in this game, uh, <coughs> it's gonna despawn so you cannot, uh, you know, keep the car forever and ever and ever and ever, plus the server wipes every time there's a new season. At the end of the old season, everything wipes clean, the whole inventory, base buildings and everything, so everybody has a chance to be overpowered in this game. Plus, if I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, right, right, there's also universal inventory, if you go to one of those, whatever the fuck, settlements, you can stash them and then switch the server. So if you like to play on a, one specific server and you think there's too many people to go loot and you don't want to use shit, just go on another one. <laughs> loot as much as you can and then just fuck up immediately. Okay, we have a fucker right there on the ground, onto the left side. Come on, you little bitch. Come on. Bam. Bam. Okay, it seems he wants to come and try to molest me. Damn. Hey, stop moving. Yeah. Alright, shot him in the head. As you can see, there you go. Powers. Shit. Right, and it doesn't automatically reload the weapon every time you fire, so you actually need to manually reload it. There's a lot of players that will charge at you without a gun or a weapon because it's much more easier to fist you than to actually shoot you. And I know how that sounds. But I did fist, uh, I also fisted some people, that the, the fisting option is the best one. <laughs> and always forget just to fist one player at a time, never fist more than one. Purely because uh, you might get fisted back and you don't really want to get fisted back in this type of games, you know what I mean? Hmm, let's see here, so I'm trying to search for a car or a police station or something actually good in the main town. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Damn it, I always fucking forget this shit. Yeah, suck it. Okay, the parking is right there. Yes, yeah, so I'm not gonna be like 50 powers of gameplay on this, but so you know you can... Don't think it will allow me with the crowbar, yeah, it does not I need to have a hammer. Okay, what's that? Oh, that's a nice car. What the fuck car am I saying? That's a nice building, what the fuck. Of course you have military bases as well if you really want to go that way. Oh, 
<coughs> nice maybe story box, nothing. Let's open the doors. Let's see what we can find around here. Office space. Oh, oh, right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, wow, wow, let's see. 9 millimeter rounds, that's actually good. 45 uh, rounds. And of course, once you start actually playing this game, you will actually have missions right here. That will give you weapons, clothing, and things like that. You can also have uh, skins, customization, everything is purely... Everything is purely cosmetic, even the battle pass is purely cosmetic, so there's actually no advantage of buying the battle pass or... spending money in the game. Fucking door jam my ass. Of course you have uh, also food, water, radiation as well. It's quite a lot of shit to do. If you have a couple of friends, this is a great game. Come on, open it. Open it. Good job. Yeah, I was trying to show you guys some more combat, but uh, the first server is full and I cannot enter it. The first European one, it's at 50 players and I cannot enter it. So this one had the most players, like 7 or 8. There's like 4 or 5 server servers. A couple of them are only PvP and some of them are PvP and PvP like this one. So you might get lucky and find some players or you might just, you know, have a quiet, relaxing day of just looting everything you ever wanted. Depending on your playstyle. Of course it has in-game voice chat as well if you really want to do that shit. I do not advise it because there's a lot of... Uh, let's just say stupid people, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Let's see if the... Yep, windows do not break and now the night is upon us. If you actually want a true gameplay, like with base buildings and things like that, you just let me know in the comments and I can also make another episode on this one. Maybe it will be more about on how to build or uh, what's the best location to build. If you don't know exactly how the car looks or how the car, where the car spawns, you can always check online. There are some specific spots on the map where. Uh, the vehicle spawns, is like a dune buggy and an ATV and it drives exactly like like H1Z1 so <laughs> based upon you, fuck up okay let's see here tools improvise with an axe, I need some plant fibers so I can show you a little bit of can show you just a little bit of uh, base building mechanics or things like that you can uh, get the fibers and things like that from those specific little trees right here that's the only way you can actually do that so just grab that you get some plant fibers some wooden sticks some shit that you start with you go to crafting you go right here and provide with an axe you're just gonna craft quickly one and of course you can actually craft max like 10 and then just um, you need to switch on this one and provide with an axe right here and then you start hitting as you can see the wooden logs are there I'm just gonna show you a bit of base building because there's no action involved at the moment so I don't want to bore everybody just me running around for like 20 minutes until I find something decent. There's some actually quite good events on here like bunkers, secret military stashes and a lot of that. As you can see the tree does fall down and if you leave it long enough you will actually see it grow back. So right now the wooden plank as you can see and I have 10 you can craft max. And each wooden plank, wooden log gives you three wooden planks. So if you think about it, that's actually quite amazing. And you need a land claim block so you can actually build a base. So as you can see right now, let me just base floor and see if I can actually put it down without a land claim block. Don't think I can do that. As you can see, it's just normal base building and then you can upgrade it with the hammer and pretty much upgrade it with metal stones and whatever the fuck else you want so yeah that's about it uh, if you like it don't forget to give a like and see you guys on the next one maybe on the next one we can do some raids so I'll try my best even though I kinda suck because a lot of players actually have level 15 because you can only access the world storage oh yeah right there as you can see they also have military planes and things like that right there 
and from time to time a helicopter will crash around here or just around somewhere around there and you have a lot of good loot as you can see compound event it's with a little fist the white fist we don't actually have there's just randoms of course airdrops you can also have the radio tower which you can um, pretty much uh, resolve all of them and more airdrops spawn and get some decent loot and things like that so yeah that's about it if you think this is familiar it's because it's pretty much h1z1 infestation and rust combined into one if you like to give it a go it's free on steam and it doesn't actually have such bad player count it's just mediocre at best so I advise going with a friend or anything like that. Plus, watch out, the community is a little toxic in the chat. So, if you think, uh, so if you find, oh shit! You go suck a fucking dick! Oh shit. Yeah, go suck a dick now. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, as I was saying, the community is pretty toxic, so if you're offended easily, don't try this game. You're gonna... It's gonna affect you if you're a little pansy or a snowflake. Okay, so that's about it. See you guys on the next episode. Peace!